so today we will see how to upload all the documents and other information on the portal that tech mantra has provided so this is shweta and welcome to my channel beyond the brackets girl so let's see how can you do it and please guys do like and subscribe itti so to kari sakte mehnat aap okay so basically guys after offer letter you have received the second mail with a url and a credential you have to change your password and again login with in that portal and you will see uh, some sections where you have to upload the documents i will uh, tell you which document is important to upload and which not okay the first thing is that you have to upload your photograph and the photograph should be on the white means white background it contains white background guys if you don't have the photograph with white background what you can do is um, you can uh, use the online any background changer and keep it white okay after that you have to uh, sign on a white paper and upload under the signature section after that i uh, i don't remember uh, but there is also wait there is also resume and national id yeah you have to also upload the resume and national id in national id you can upload aadhar card i can't log into the portal because i haven't accepted the offer so my candidate is cancelled and i can't uh, log in that portal otherwise i will uh, have showed you with all the details okay but no, mention not i have written all the points you don't need to uh have any confusion so after that in personal details you what you can do is uh, click on the personal detail there will be many fields to upload but uh, all are not necessary guys you just need to upload the pan aadhar and un number okay just upload your pan aadhar un number or whatever you have don't uh, there is no need of ration card and all whatever there was okay just just the main thing like this this type of you can see so you don't need to upload the ration card name uh, uh, yes ic card okay uh, so i don't have the photo of the above uh, whatever in the top so i will explain it here um, means if you have uploaded uh, let's say esic as aadhar card number so if you uploaded the aadhar card from here upload and uh, you will see here the attachment if you upload aadhar card then you have to write, also write the aadhar number here and as a document name is that whatever you will upload here it will appears like what you have uploaded so whatever the name of that document you have to write the name of that document here means like you have uploaded aadhar card so aadhar card is the name of that pdf so you have to write the aadhar card here okay guys i have just said example uh, using esic but i have assumed it as aadhar card don't be confused that you have to upload aadhar card here okay so you will upload from there here and the whatever the name will be uh, shown here you have to write in the name as the document and you have to write that number whatever is it is like pan card if it is pan card write the pan card number if it's aadhar card you have to write the aadhar card number after that you will see this family details so what you have to do is nominee epf is very important guys mind it so in family details like i have written my mother's name and the relationship is mother her date of birth her contact number and in nominee uh, i have taken my mother as 100% nominee okay so what is this like uh, if you want to add your father also so you can uh, divide it 50 50 nominee nominee is basically what when you uh, died or whatever circumstances happen so uh, whom you want to give your epf uh, amount whatever the epf because in every company means every private company your some of the uh, percentage of your salary cutouts and it gets saved whenever the person died or whenever uh, they retired and all there are many type of nominee so which money uh, whom you want to give so i have given all my mo money to my mother like uh, emergency contact number is also my mother and insurance nominee is also my mother gratuity ma nominee is also my mother and pf nominee is also my mother means if pf account is, uh, it is all this type of nominees you can search on the google what are these nominees and basically guys in simple form uh, whatever whatever get over uh, to whom you will give your money okay 
uh, if you died or if you meet an accident if you uh, anything like that then you whom you want to give the money then this is what so you can write your mother or father name i have written only mother name you can also write your father name and divide the insurance in 50 50 like if your i have given four of them i uh, nominee in my mother you can uh, give it as like in m- mother you can give insurance and gratuity nominee and in father you can give pf nominee and eps nominee it depends on you okay and what is this guy nominee details in nominee details you, what you have to do just open the nominee details and then fill this family details it will automatically be filled in the nominee whenever you are filling this family details just open this nominee uh, when you are filling okay so that that will be automatically filled nominee will be automatically filled when you fill the family details i will show you like this if i if i put all the details here and uh, i have opened this nominee uh, nominee section then automatically it will filled with 100% allocation you can allocate your uh, like fa- mom- mother 50% and father 50% i have allocated all 100% to my mother that's why it's showing 100 100 100 100 100 okay so it depends uh, and you have to provide the bank branch number account type of mother or father whatever you are given and address of nominee this is what and the most important thing is guys epf details if you have creating for the first time epf account means uh, you are uh, first entering first time you are entering in a private company for epf account then you have to um, and do this uh, both the first two blanks as no okay um here i can say you can you have to do this no 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 whether earlier a member of employees provident fund scheme 1952 so you have to click no and whether earlier a member of the employee um, pension scheme so you have to no click no and if you are fa- uh, telling yes then you have to fill this uh, employment uh, details wh- wherever you have worked before if you, it's your first job then you have to uh, tick no and if it's your second job then you have to click according to yes or no and fill the previous employment detail okay guys after that uh, you have to fill others uh, section like i am saying other section is what enter the family details we have done fill nominee details we have done fill epf details and criminal disclosure the criminal disclosure is very simple guys you have to select no or yes you have any criminal record or no after that you have to click on the save button to save and on the top you have to uh, you just move to the other section on clicking on the top like document upload page medical declaration page final submission uh, this type of uh, okay mm. so uh, go to the additional details now after filling the first uh, first personal details you have to go to the additional details and fill the info in adi- additional is uh, details you will find some blanks you can easily uh, fill whatever is required or not okay then uh, go to the document upload page in document upload page only you have to upload your bond delight if you have making or your offer letter other than that all will be already filled okay because you have already filled the epf and all so it will get automatically filled you have to just upload your upload your uh, offer letter and bond delight whenever you make the bond then you have to upload it and save it and uh, guys in additional uh, whatever the section will align with you in additional detail please fill that document upload i have said and when you go in the final submission this is the final submission when you go the it will uh, show that everything is completed then you have to download and print there will be no pending and if it is pending then maybe it's because your uh, submission is not completed and uh, like bond delight and all is not submitted that's why it's so pending but still you can download and print okay click here download and print and if you, all of this is completed you can easily go and uh, whatever i have said just follow that and where, where, whatever information you have you can upload okay and just download and print this is what you can do so here is guys uh, uh, some other details like if you have any issue about the pre onboarding and all you can mail here for that uh, and uh, 
uh, whatever you have uploaded like uh, upload pan card in the third number is pan card aadhar card un number so you here i have written you can uh, upload in a pdf form pan aadhar in the front and back as one pdf aadhar you have to upload as a front and back both on the single page and uh, scan it and uh, upload it un number one pdf un number should be uh, that is screenshot whatever you have applied and you get the un number screenshot of that you can upload or you if it is not a pdf also you can upload i have uh, uploaded the photo wo offer letter uh, should be duly signed means in every page you have signed all 24 pages and um, a form 11 is what uh, that is epf form or nominee form whatever i have said na no no if you are not uh, if you haven't worked previously then you have to click no it is the epf form it will automatically get submitted okay if you uh, select here whatever is required uh, if you are new to the uh, the company or new to any any company and creating it for the first time if you have account then you have to know and if you have the second I means it is your second company where you are going to work then you have to add the previous employment detail whatever you will fill it will automatically get form 11 in the document it it will so on everything will so on the document upload page okay guys so they will be all already get uploaded if you fill that form you have to just upload your offer letter and bond delight after that joining report uh, you have to uh, you have been given in your mail id your hr will mail you with the joining report uh, okay that you have to sign and upload otherwise it will get already uploaded yeah, if you can see and bond bond uh, is the thing that i have already said in how to accept in the um, Uh, how to accept the offer letter in that i have said the bond uh, and if you want new video on the bond you can comment down below and the life insurance nomination form is obviously that nominee form whatever i have said this is the nominee form you have to just uh, oh, while filling the family details you just open this nominee detail as well so that you can if you, you fill this and uh, nominee details will automatically get filled with some of the blanks left which you have to fill then get it in nominee form this is the same obviously apf form and these are the things guys you have to do <sighs> and don't take tension you have, will get enough time till onboarding but yeah just start filling uh, now because there will be lot of errors and issues you will face during uploading this type of videos uh sorry this type of uh, documents and all so you will find error so start filling now because it will take time also and if you have any query please comment down below this is short and please like and subscribe please okay bye